before you attempt to do this repair, please shut off all the water going to the shower in the garage by the water heater. Now all the water shut off. All right, guys, this is JOATD back with another video. I'm sitting in my shower slash tub and the handle seems to be broken. Um, by the way, the handle is a Moen handle. It is the off and on shut off for the water and it also goes from hot to cold. The problem that I'm having with the handle is the fact that it doesn't turn the water off. Um, right now, I have the main shut off for the water in the garage turned off for the whole house just because this handle does not have a uh, on off valve behind this fixture to turn the water off just for the bathtub. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have someone turn the water on to show you that water is going to continuously pour from the faucet and no matter how much I turn this handle, it will not turn off. All right, guys. So you see that the water's on. Look at the level. See that? You know what? No matter what I do, the water just continuously pours. So we're going to turn the water off with the main control in the garage. Yeah, so what we're going to start by doing is taking off the actual handle itself. Um, the handle has a Allen head screw. The size of the screw is a 330 seconds Allen wrench. This right here. So we're going to put that in here. And what we're going to do is turn it to the left. Turn it until it comes all the way out. All the way. Okay. And you're going to take the screw out. This is the screw right here. This handle right here now should just pull directly off. There we go. All right. Next thing you're going to do is take out this Phillips head screw that's right in the middle. Just grab it and put your drill in. There you go. Should have two pieces. Then you're gonna pull out this plastic piece here. Try to keep them together like they actually separate. But try to keep it together. If you do happen to separate it, just make sure you match it up at the top so that it's even. Turn it just a little bit right there. Okay, it's a little dirty, whatever. All right, this sleeve here comes out. It's a sleeve. Then you're gonna take out the two uh, Phillips head screws that holds the fixture on. off now let's zoom up a little closer next thing you're going to do is you're going to pull out this locking tab here it's right here at the top you're going to get some needle nose pliers grab it pull up on it Pull it all the way out. Try not to drop it behind there. There you go. So you got to pull this out. Now what you're going to do is this actual valve knob right here. You're going to turn this until you get it 
the flat part upright. So right here, it's flat. It's flat on the bottom too, but on the top, it has like this little ridge. So it's flat, then it stops, and then it comes up, and then it goes. You want that to be at the top, okay? The bottom side is flat, but it's smooth. This one actually has like a little ridge that goes up, all right? That needs to be pointed up. Now, they actually have a tool to take this out, but um, I'll put that in the description if you know you want to do it or purchase it. But I'm going to use a pair of channel locks. So what I'm doing is this plastic part back here, I'm grabbing it with the vice grips. Let's see. All right, so I got it locked on there. Now, depending on how long this has been in there, it's gonna be very hard to get this out. Um, so I, I suggest that you kind of wiggle it back and forth. Just keep wiggling it back and forth like this to get it to come out, okay? Just keep wiggling it, wiggling it, and pulling. So this pulls out, and that's what it is. This is a cartridge, okay? It's a valve cartridge. Um, on on my cartridge, the actual this part right here that turns, it's actually broken. Like it, it's supposed to. It's supposed to turn this. Uh, part in the inside right here like when you turn this this in here should turn too but mine's actually just it's just it's broken okay so we're gonna go ahead and put the new one in all right so this right here is what I'm gonna be putting in it's the Moen 1222 cartridge 1222 all right so it's a 1222 cartridge that's what you need got this off Amazon it's about 40 I think about 45 bucks and um, this is what you need to be able to put to fix it okay all right so you're gonna get your oil and this is the new cartridge you're gonna make sure the rubber grommets here you're gonna oil them up so you're gonna put oil all over this part and over here. It just makes it so that it's easier to slide this in, okay? So all you're gonna do is apply the oil on it, both sides, like that, and just rub it in, both sides, okay? Now, when you put this in, you want the hot, cold sign to be up. So I'm going to put this in, I'm going to get a pair of uh, pliers to help me push this in. Try not to damage it when you do it. So we're going to push this in. Alright, so it slid all the way in. Make sure it's right side up. Now. Where it says hot, cold at, this actually is sitting in this pipe. This pipe has like a little cutout here and at the bottom. So you want this part to sit in it, okay? Just push it in there, turn it a little bit, and make sure it's sitting in the groove of this actual pipe here. It has a groove at the bottom and a groove at the top of the pipe. All right, so... So what you're gonna do is, right now, it's in the on position, okay? So you're gonna turn this all the way around, like this. Now remember I told you it has a flat side and then it has a side that has like a little um, 
part that goes up and then it goes back okay so now instead of that the part with the the cut on it that goes up like a stair instead of instead of that being on the top you want it on the bottom now so you're going to turn it all the way around until that part's on the bottom now you want the flat part that's flat on the top okay you're going to put your locking tab on got to make sure you put this back on because if you don't when you turn the water on it's going to shoot this thing out Got it in there and you're just gonna push down all the way right there all right so now the locking tab is in there and that's gonna stop it from coming out next thing you're gonna do is put the collar back on slide this collar back on like that and then we're gonna put the face plate or fixture back on just like that then this little plastic piece goes in now once you put that plastic piece in you're going to start right here because what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the screws in for the fixture so let's go ahead and start by putting the long screws back in to put on the black piece which should be in the off position that's the off position because we turned it upside down right we turned that um, the cartridge um, valve handle so that the smooth part was on the top so it's in the off position right now and we're going to put this Phillips head screw back in. Okay. And then we're going to slide this back on, right? Now, it's in the off position, but we're going to open it back up. So we're going to put the Allen head screw back in. Um, it's a 3.30 seconds. It just goes right in the top up here. Tighten it down good and tight. Try not to strip it. It should be good enough. It's not coming off. All right guys, so everything's put together and now we're fixing to go downstairs and turn the uh, main shutoff valve on to let water back into the house and hopefully it's fixed. Let's see. All right guys, so moment of truth. Let's see if this is gonna work. I think the water's on now, let's see. And there we go. It is fixed. And that is how you change a Moen 1222 cartridge for your shower slash bathtub handle. This is JOATD and I'm out.